And not too long ago, a vision came through. You know, and I took some time to think about it, let it ponder, let it sit. I didn't want to speak on it right away. You know, I want, at least wanted to allow Ahaya to grant me more wisdom, understanding, or even let me know if I'm just foolish or set in, in my ways that he may be able to correct me before I just open my mouth and talk. <laughs> grant you, the vision didn't even come through me. It came through a good friend of mine who has a very close relationship with the almighty Ahaya. But right then and there, when he spoke it unto me, I knew it was a message for me as well because this vision is the answer to my heart and my mind that I asked of Ahaya when no one was around to hear me. No one heard my thoughts. No one heard my mind. <laughs> no one heard me speak. But I prayed unto Ahaya. And then this vision came through unto my close friend. By the way, his name is Prince Wisdom. Now, this vision was about, you know, modernity. I don't know if you are too familiar with the word modernity, but, you know, I have some definitions right here, and I'm going to go over the vision and really prayfully do my best to put it in its proper perspective so that the whole nation of Yasharala from the four corners of the earth can understand the importance of returning back only to the almighty Ahaya. You know, alleviating yourselves from the New Testament and its idol, its mythical character, its plagiarized character, its contrary character. You know, I know that a lot of us, we have a lot of emotions tied to that deity through upbringing and being passed down from generation to generation. Yeah, I understand. But this vision, it should help understand the importance of letting that go. So you can release, so you can relieve yourself from all idolatry and understand what's to come and also understand what present time that we are truly in. We are in the time of modernity. The people of Yashrala are up under modernity. You know, especially the new youth. You know, the old heads, you know, they still caught up in, you know, the idol of the New Testament. The majority of Yashrala from the camps, you know, to just your know, everyday common folk is just connected and caught up on a New Testament idol. You know? But the youth and where the future is headed and the entrapment of the Amalekite Edomite, you know, those who are the robbers of us, they have us looking forward and in the mindset of modernity. See, modernity is new thinking and new possibilities. To put it in the simplest terms, it's pretty much thinking and living modern, present, present times, and turning from the traditional way. The traditional way is the way of our almighty higher. And this is the time that we are in right now. The youth, the people of today, the house of Yasharala, you know, those who've been in these camps, those who are in Demona, Mispay, Bereshit, Egypt, they are most definitely still in the way of modernity. New thinking, new possibilities, not really taking heed to the order of the traditional way because the, the traditional way is still in place. 
with this vision, I want to prove that and show that your Messiah, your King, the anointed of Ahia, who shall be the chief, the ruler, the prince, you know, the mighty one over Ahia's people. When new Jerusalem is, you know, restored and put in place. And also your high priest from the line of Zadok originally was running through Aaron, you know, in Phineas. But then Zadok showed how, you know, I'm talking about the original Zadok. Zadok showed how loyal he was unto Ahia during the time of Solomon and David. That the covenant was made with him. You know, if you don't know about Zadok, Z-A-D, okay, you know, Google him. Look up all verses and scriptures about Zadok and you'll see how important he was and why Ahia made this covenant with him, the sons of Zadok, to keep charge of the temple, the high priest line. Now with this vision, it should allow you to understand that your high priest, the line of Zadok, a seed, a son, from the ancient line of Zadok is in captivity with you. Same as the seed of David. That ancient line of David, Dawida, Dawi. It's in captivity with you. Your king, your high priest is in captivity among you. Going through your growing pains. Going through your struggle. Going through your afflictions. Going through your your plight. You look past them. You look down upon them. You don't acknowledge them. You call them names. I'm talking about the most high anointed ones from the line of Zadok, the high priest, from the bloodline of David, Dawi, the king. They are among you in this captivity. And I want to show what this new generation, this generation of modernity, why Ahia is going to get rid of them. All who is living in the mindset of modernity, who is walking in the mindset of modernity, who is who put their hopes in modernity who seeks no other way but modernity shall not see the promised land they shall die in this land shall not be risen up from this captivity you know and this vision proves that anyone outside of this captivity I'm talking about America, where Zion is at. Anyone outside of where Zion is at in America claiming to be the seed of David, the, the anointed king of Ahia, claiming to be the seed of Zadok, the anointed high priest line, you know, of a, you know, from the ancient one Ahia. Anyone claiming to be that and they are outside of America not still sitting and burning and going through the, the, the heap of the furnace of affliction along with the rest of Zion. They flee. They left. They made an escape. This vision right here is what gave me clarity. Answer my prayer. And also fulfilled my heart's desire because I asked Ahaya a long time ago when I first got out of jail in 2008. I said, I commit myself to you if you get me out of jail. They was trying to give me a, you know, a two year sentence for a first offense. And he did. And I said, I commit myself to you. Me, 
myself, my future kids and their future kids' kids, <laughs> you know. And I also said that I want to sit here with my people until you deliver us. You know, once I start having a little bit of understanding that, oh, who I am and where my people is at. So for me, it answered that call, that prayer, even from way back in 2008. Now, this is the vision that came through. Pretty sure some of you read it already, but I'm going to read it you know, again. Last night, a dream came through. This was a while ago, y'all. <laughs> and in the dream, there was an airplane, as you see right here on the display. Um, there was an airplane in the sky, in the sky, and on the side of the airplane, in bold letters were written, Hyundai. Hyundai. Now, some of you may think, like, well, why would the Almighty use the word Hyundai? You know, this is a very ancient, ancient word. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, you know, it's not. <laughs> it's very ancient, so it has significance. But my buddy didn't really know what the, the name, what it represented. Like, why would he show him, you know, Hyundai? Because I, he's going to come to me. And the higher grants me understanding of, of dreams and visions. So, reason why the words that were written boldly, Hyundai, because Hyundai means modernity, and like I was explaining, or in simple or in simple terms, modern way of thinking and living, being non-traditional and going against the proven way. So that is what the majority of Yasharala is doing. And if anyone flees from out of here, you know, a lot of people is fleeing to try to get to the land because they're trying to flee from the trouble and the struggles that we're going through. We must go through this, y'all. This is, this is Jeremiah chapter 30. You know what I mean? This is what we have to go through. This is Jacob, Jacob's trouble or Jacob's trouble. We have to go through this. Then the higher explains why in that Jeremiah 30. This is the curses. This is what we got to go through. Ain't no fleeing. You know what I'm saying? If you flee, listening to Zechariah chapter 2, verse 7, and other areas, that's talking about ancient Babylon. Because the, not all of Yasharala during that time when the 70 years was up, during the time of Daniel and Zerubbabel and Ezra and Nehemiah, during that time when they, and they got the decree from Cyrus to leave and go build, you know, build up Jerusalem. Not all of Yasharala left during that time. So Ahai was telling y'all to flee, leave from ancient Babylon because I'm about to destroy this place to fulfill the vision of Daniel chapter 2. Right? The head of gold must be destroyed so the silver and the bronze could come into play. Them, them dominions, them prophecies must come to play. Right now in that Daniel chapter 2, we living in the time of the feet and toes, you know, that's part clay and part iron. We live in during we live in within a, a dominion, a nation that is partly weak and partly strong, and that's not united but divided at all costs. You know, that's very diverse with diverse people, diverse food, diverse clothes, diverse doctrines, diverse families, diverse. Genetics now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, that fleet was talking about ancient Babylon, yo. So, if you trying to flee out of here, if you try to get to the land or whatever you try to do, you trying to flee to get close to a deity, you trying to flee and get, you know, because you want to go to Israel, Jerusalem to get to a certain camp, to get around a certain people, or you want to go there and try to, you know, you want to <laughs> meet JC on what mountain he supposed to appear on? Like, he supposed to appear on one of those mountains, right? So some people want to leave here and go to the land and watch him appear on that certain mountain. That's all idolatry and that's all fake. You know what I'm saying? So, if you are 
caught up in the modern way of thinking and living. Now I'm gonna get real simple with this. Like you living to um, make money off these digital currencies that they putting in place, or you just really trying to survive America until it restores itself when that's not prophecy. So if you're living, taking a booster shot, you're taking a jab, uh, how you let me know that those who took the booster shot and jab, all they have to do is take sarsaparilla and he will heal them from that. But they have to consider that, you know, take sarsaparilla and he will do the thing with that, you know. But if you're just trying to live and sustain until America comes out of this, you know, <laughs> out of this situation, then you are living in the terms of a modern way of thinking and living being non-traditional going against the proven way and the proven way is what the word of Ahaya what he say he's going to bring down America he's going to deliver his people and restore his back and he said that I have set my king and I have set my high priest here with you and I'm going to raise you guys up together and bring you so if you going against that if you not OT only Old Testament only Ahaya only if you not that then you are going against the the traditional way. So this airplane right here, right now, I'm gonna continue reading the vision. You know, going against the proven way. Okay, now I'm gonna go down to in the dream, the plane crashed before the cockpit broke off broke off in Prince Wisdom dream. Like I told you, Prince Wisdom is the one who had this dream. So in the dream he told me. The cockpit broke off in in the dream. The cockpit is the cockpit is very important. It holds two people in the cockpit, right? They are the pilots. They are the ones in control of the plane. You know what I mean? They're steering it, right? Or pretty much, to me, the plane is in airplane mode because it's Ahaya who's steering it, right? But in a sense, you can say that, you know, these two pilots is driving this, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're steering this airplane. So like it says, the cockpit broke off in the dream. Then it was like, like the whole airplane went down and then a big explosion happened. Then he said, we walked over to see that the cockpit was broken off and it made it through the fire like the book of Daniel. So now that's important. So... The whole plane went down. So remember, the plane represents my modernity, and it's and, and the plane is full of people, full of all people. Yasharala, full of people, and that plane goes down, and it blows up, kills everybody. But the cockpit broke off. You know what I'm saying? So the cockpit made it through the, it made it through the fire of the explosion. So the two pilots didn't die. In the captivity of where they are held. Meaning that the seed of David that's in captivity and the seed of Zadok, these two anointed people, survived and made it through the explosion, the fire. Because we are in the furnace of affliction. So they survived and made it. See, the seed of David and the seed of Zadok must be in this captivity and survive and be delivered and be among them, among their people so they can see and know and witness the power of Ahia. And the people will have respect unto these two um, entities, you know, because they will know that they were there with them. They didn't leave and proclaim themselves to be bigger and try to do things outside of their captivity and try to draw people in to come up under their authority. No, these two, these two entities, the seed of David and the seed of Zadok was in the fire with y'all. You know what I'm saying? But they survived the explosion and then died. The cockpit broke off. You know, the front of the plane is the cockpit. The cockpit broke off and they survived because Ahaya has a covenant with these two young men. That's why. And they didn't fall for the for the uh, the modernity way. 
they kept the traditional way, spoke the traditional way. They went through the pains, the bumps, the bruises. They went through all that. They didn't sell you out. Yeah, they sinned. Yeah, they went through things because you went through things. Yeah, they did things that you did because they among you, going through the same things, same chastisement. You can relate. You can resonate with them. So if you can just get rid of that deity in the New Testament and understand that it's going to be plenty of seeds of David's claiming to be, but they have to walk in the characteristics of seed of David and the seed of Zadok, and that is being meek and contrite and obedient to a higher. They are both full of iniquity and being refined, just like all of Yasharala in the land of their captivity of my modernity. Come on now. You got to respect it. But if you can't get past that New Testament idol and all forms of idolatry that's in the lands of our captivity where we are being held captive, then you're not going to see. You're going to fall for the way of modernity because you live in it through these, I, these idolatries that you are still upholding. Some of y'all may not like who the seed of David is or the seed of Zadok is, but they that. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to have to deal with that. You're going to have to get rid of that. And you also going to have to understand that it's going to be many seeds claiming to be. But I don't know too many people who was a higher only. I'm talking a higher only. I ain't talking about Yah only, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh. I don't call upon that name. I call upon the name Masha. Called upon, you know what I'm saying? Higher. You know what I mean? Like the ancient uh, chant was higher, 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 a higher. You know what I'm saying? The ah is for singular person form, and the higher, you know what I mean? Means to exist. So a singular person exists. That's why we call Yasharala or Yash or Yasha. Ah, la, meaning upright power is a higher. So we are only upright and our power is with us when we are with who? A higher. <laughs> now to finish the dream, like I said, the cockpit was broken off and made it through the fire like the book of Daniel. You know what I'm saying? That's like, you remember how, you know, Michelle, <laughs> well, I always get them names. Michelle... You, you know, you know them. <laughs> I like to call them by their uh, Yashar like names. You know, Hananiah, Azariah, and do I know Hananiah, Azariah, and okay, Michelle, uh, she drank in the bed. They go, okay, I say the captain names because I can't think of that name. <laughs> but you know how they were stoned in the fire from Nebuchadnezzar, you know what I'm saying? But they trust was in the highest so deep that you know what i mean that they ain't worried about it they like they was like even if you throw us in this fire and we don't make it our people still not going to serve you we going we going to um we going to um accept this punishment that we have to go through for 70 years because we understand the prophecy and it came to pass and anything that comes to pass is the word of a higher you know what i'm saying but they faith was so high you know higher brought them through you know, they made it. And they now are walking, talking, testimony, witness, and they have spots in the book. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me see where I'm at. Make sure. So, these two bloodlines, see the David, see the Zato, made it through the fire. And it's like the remnant of Yasharala being refined through the furnace of affliction, still reading from the vision. Like pure silver and gold. You know what I'm saying? So you got to, I got a video on this channel right here that I'm posting this to. And it's about um, the refinement process that all the Yasharala must go through. Same thing for these two bloodlines. You know what I'm saying? So like it says, like they was, they was like, they being refined through the furnace of affliction, like pure silver and gold. The pilots didn't die. The pilots are, I'm explaining right here, the seed of David, Messiah King in captivity, and the seed of Zadok, Messiah High Priest in captivity, 
correlation scriptures of these two covenants made with these two messiahs. Messiahs just mean anointed, you know, anointed ones. Deuteronomy chapter 28, 36, that's for the king. Well, how you said that I brought him over here into captivity with you in Jeremiah 33 verses 14 through 26 is the covenants that was made with the seed of David. And then it's going to say the, the whites right there. It shouldn't say the whites. It should say Zadok because all the whites aren't priests, aren't the priesthood and aren't high priests. It's just that high priests and the whites. And it's just that the priesthood. And the high priests are chosen from the whites. So let me say that slowly. All the whites are not the priesthood, nor the high priest. It's just that the priesthood and the high priest is chosen from the whites. So it should say Zadok, a covenant made with Zadok and a covenant made with David. You know what I'm saying? So you can go ahead and read that. Like it says that if you could take away the covenant that he made with the earth with day and night and they don't come within their seasons then you could take away the covenant that I made with the seed of David and the seed of Zado till this day with my boy uh, <laughs> with my boy say to this day you know what I'm talking about to this day we still see day and night so that covenant still stands proving the validity of a higher the almighty our king and I love you you know, so that covenant still stands. So on the side right here, I got modernity, you know, the definition. And, you know, it's the Korean word for Hyundai. Translates roughly to the word modernity and was chosen in 1947 when the South Korean company Hyundai Construction was founded. When it split off into a separate brand, it adopted a new slogan that reflected the new brand representing new thinking and new possibilities. So pretty much you guys don't have a new thought, don't have a new way of living, don't have a new way of, of seeking the Almighty, don't have a new way of, 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 of worshiping, don't have a new way of none of that. Don't even adopt your, don't even adopt new doctrines and ideologies and philosophies and all of that. Don't even deal with none of that. Don't deal with cometicism. Uh, Scientology don't deal with Buddhism you know what I'm saying don't deal with Christianity no more don't deal with the uh, the messianic faith you know what I'm saying but I do want to say this since I said that there's no such thing as a non-messianic I know what I just said right don't deal with the messianic faith but I want to put it in proper perspective because there's no such thing as a non-messianic because Ahaya made the whole nation of Yasharala a messianic nation once he made a covenant with um, Saul and then uh, continued the covenant, you know, with David forever in his seed. So they are messiahs, messianic just from the term of messiah. So we are a messianic nation, but we just not a Jesus Christ, Yahweh, Shai, Yeshua, Yah, Yahoshe messianic nation we are a kingdom of david and his bloodline and his seed and the covenant that was given unto him messianic nation the traditional way not the modernity way that they've been teaching us you know nah nah come on man <laughs> so i've been waiting for a minute to drop this video and i feel like he put it in my heart to do so now any questions, feel free to drop a comment. You can hit me up on uh, Facebook at uh, Yeshram. And that's Y-E-S-H-R-U. Uh, Y-E-S-H-U-R-U-N. I'm sorry. Um, King Dawi. That's my name on Yeshram King Dawi. You can hit me up or you can hit Prince Wisdom up. It's simple as that. Prince, P-R-I-N-C-E, Wisdom, you know, R-W-I-S-D-O-M. You can hit him up if you have any questions about this vision. If you just anything, turn from idolatry from the New Testament and understand that your king and your high priest is here. And if anybody is claiming to be here, make sure that they are not um, arrogant, prideful, 
stubborn, this like deliberately hateful, very profane at speech. Um, it's so much, you know. Um, I believe. Well, that's kind of the future, so I'm not gonna say that. You know, I can hold my tongue on that, but just salawan and peace to all my people. You know, understand that. Get rid of the mod- the modernity way of thinking and living. All the youth, those who know who they are and those who don't know who they are, because it does matter. So care about those who don't know who they are neither, because that plays a big factor as well. And they also is on that plane. So when Ahaya burns this place down, it's going to be those who know who they are and those who don't know who they are because they still represent the way of modernity. And if you have to return back to the traditional way, the traditional covenant, and return back to the traditional name, return back to the traditional thought, the traditional heart, the traditional soul, If you can return back to that, turn from pride, turn from arrogance, turn from feeling like you know it all. And if you truly want to keep the word of Hosea, you seeking David, your king, you need to seek him in captivity because he's here. He's not there, 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 there. He's here, right here. The seed of Zadok, he's right here, but he's filthy covered in sin a monster who needs who needs the full exterior of refinement and he needs to humble himself he needs to get it together he needs to get on one accord he needs to know that he is even beneath the seed of David but they work in unison it should be peace it can one, you know, one cannot be above what Ahaya has given authority unto. So just understand, my people. All that you seek is right before your very own eyes. You just got to get rid of the modernity way of seeing things. Shalom.